good about where the offense is right now and maybe your spot in, in the rotation? Oh, yeah, I'm feeling great about it. I mean, um, every day we've been out there and working hard and just preparing for the all game coming up. Talk about yourself a little bit, maybe. Um, feeling healthy, has that been an issue for you the last year or so, maybe more than anything, just being 100%, feeling like, you know, week in and week out you can contribute? Yeah, I had a couple issues um, as far as um, staying healthy. I mean, but I'm feeling great right now. Uh, like I said, just getting out there every day, competing and working hard. Hey, Earl, can you just talk about this in these last two days on, on the fundamentals before you guys really start game planning for, for Virginia Tech? Yeah, I mean, basically we just went out there and just and just worked on us. I mean, just like the fundamental things, just doing the bases and um, just getting better at those things before we start preparing. Um, for the game. Are you excited to start game week preparations? Oh yeah, of course. I mean, ready to get getting ready to kick off um, 2009 season. I mean, everybody's excited, very excited. Can you talk about the development you've seen out of Greg McElroy, the leader in Greg Hannon? Um, Greg is a great guy. I mean, great leader. Um, ever since I've known, he's been a great leader. I mean, he's. I think he's gonna do real well. How about the receiving core and just uh, some of the younger guys that they surprised you? Uh, yeah. I mean, they came in and competed. I mean, it's a competition out there every day. And uh, they just come in every day ready to go to work and uh, do the best that they can do. We've heard a lot about Kevin Norwood specifically. What is it that he has done that, that maybe has helped him? Uh, um, basically, like I said, um, Kevin is a hard worker, just like all the rest of them are. I mean, all of them come in every day and um, pay attention in meetings, learn the, um, the system, and get out and take it to the field. You got to be able to, to learn in the meeting and take it to the field, and all of them do that very well. Well, there's a lot of focus on Julio Jones this year, but what do you know about where you stand in the rotation and what kind of things are you trying to um, I don't know, really. I mean, I'm just, when, when my name is called, and, my, and I, um, I get the opportunity to make a play. I just want to be there to make it. I mean, you know, um, and hopefully I'll do it. Well, I will do it. You count on seeing fewer two tight end formations this year and more wideouts Of course, that'll be nice. I mean, I, I don't know exactly. That's up to the coaches, um, those, those coaches' decision right there. I mean, like I said, whenever my name is called, I want to be there to make the play. Earl, you got a, a rebuilding offensive line that's going up every day in practice against one of the most highly regarded front seven in uh, college football. How have they been handling that? Uh, all of them. Everybody on the offensive line get out there every day and uh, and work their tail off. I mean, um, Coach Pendry, um, he works with them very well. I mean, all of them look good to me, and um, it's up to the coaches to make that decision on who's going to play. One more. Oh yes, sir. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. Um, I'm feeling great. <laughs>